Good afternoon, everybody. Nine minutes after the hour, here's a live look at your Storm Team 10 Fury. And again, not much rain. We talked about this this morning. Our best chances in some time are moving in today. But the good news is we keep those same chances around. Matter of fact, increase those chances for rain through the overnight tonight and again through the day tomorrow. Rain would be, um, well, very few and far between at this hour and continuing for the afternoon hour. Scattered rain still out to the west. And we talked about this this morning, that the easterly movement of these rain showers, and notice how they just dry up and fizzle away. Boy, that looks like good rain, doesn't it? Check out southern Missouri. If we had that coming down, that would be fantastic. One to three inches of rain would not hurt us one bit. Things are so dry, the ground could absorb it pretty quick and would be able to hold on to that. Now, of course, we'd like to have that kind of rain over a longer duration of time than, say, the shorter amount of time. But what we've got overhead right now is, again, the same problem that plagued us pretty much all of August, a very stable atmosphere. So when the rain moves east, well, there's low moisture, nothing for it to really work with, and therefore it does just dry out as it moves off to the east. But... Our winds are still out of the south. The temperatures are up. We've got some sunshine in areas, and that's great news. Notice Indianapolis. They've been under full sun all day long. Clouds moved into our neck of the woods uh, pretty much right away with in an hour or two after sunrise this morning. But they're already at almost 90 degrees. We're holding steady at 79 in Rockville and Terre Haute, but where you've got more sunshine, it's a little warmer. 80 in Robinson, 82 in Olney. The heat index is, uh, again, a bit of a factor, but not much, and that's a very good indication. Indianapolis is at 89. Heat index is 90. Very good indication that there's not much moisture in the atmosphere. However, the winds out of the south are working in our favor to bring moisture to our neck of the woods. And this is future cast. Remember, we talked about this this morning. Should stay relatively quiet through noon. But now, between noon and about 2 o'clock, we'll start to see some more scattered areas cross that state line. He had a few areas of some scattered rain throughout portions of Clark and Cumberland counties in Illinois and a few other hit and miss areas that way. But overall, as far as everybody receiving the rain, it's only a 20% chance today. The good news is, with temperatures warming up near 90 and sustained winds out of the southwest, we will bring that moisture content up. So later tonight, notice 10 p.m., we stop the clock on Futurecast. Well, the chances for rain continue to move eastward, and it's going to keep working in here. We're going to continue to bring some moisture around so we can wring out some moisture. We'll increase that to a 30%. That's better than decreasing, right? 30% chance for scattered showers. Overnight, a matter of fact, after 8 a.m. tomorrow morning, as this clock goes hour by hour into the future, we will continue to increase our chances for rain. Here's something else working in our favor. Another cold front behind and increases our chances to a 40% during the day tomorrow, all the way up to 60% as we get into the overnight hours, uh, Thursday night into the day on Friday because of this second front moving through. When it's all said and done, we're going to try to squeeze out close to an inch of rain. For almost everybody, that may be a little optimistic, but definitely what we're looking for and what we've been tracking with this system thus far moving east, and it all depends on the moisture with our winds out of the south. It's just tough to get rain right now. 90 degrees, a 20% chance for scattered rain and a few thunderstorms this afternoon. 30% chance as we get into those overnight hours. Still warm today at 90, 68 will be that overnight low. And again, 87 tomorrow, and we increase that chance of rain to 40% and as high as 60% tomorrow night. So just because you're not getting rain right now or haven't this morning, don't be discouraged. We're still forecasting the heaviest rain and best chances through the day tomorrow. But how about that Labor Day weekend? Highs in the 70s Saturday and Sunday, 83 degrees for Monday.